Or am I gonna rewrite, rewrite my stories? And I'm, am I gonna, gonna look at the world in a very different way with a different pair of lenses in and say, yes, I may have made some mistakes in the past. Yes, I may have done something wrong or something that didn't quite go the way how I wanted it, but it doesn't mean I failed because there isn't any failure. There is no failure. There is only feedback. We can either succeed or learn one of the presuppositions or guiding principles of NLP. And once we adopt this attitude, attitude of curiosity towards life and understand that we can't fail, we can only just learn and, 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 and succeed or learn and succeed at the same time, then that gives you the very different attitude. You start shining the light, you start using different neural pathways, shine the light on something different. And the more time you spend there, the more you think about possibilities and how your presentation will be the best ever or your keynote speech will be the best ever or that workshop will be the best ever within reasons obviously the more you shine light on that the more you're going to use those parts of your brain and the more we use it like a muscle the more we're going to strengthen it and once we strengthen one side the other one will have no chance or no other choices but start to shrink yeah so for instance what would be what is always a really good exercise when it comes to questioning ourselves or whether we are good enough or do we know what we are talking about a bit of imposter thinking I don't call it imposter syndrome deliberately it's um, imposter thinking what we can do is we can we can go back and we can start reading all the amazing testimonies we got from our clients or we can start uh, going through different emails the best thing to do is to have a, a, a box of amazing stuff that you can come back to and you can just read through. I personally have a drawer here full of different, I don't know if I can pull them out, full of different thank you cards. Yeah. So whenever my mind plays tricks on me and tells me, whether it's about speaking or delivering a workshop or doing a client session, my mind comes and it plays tricks on me and it asks me, oh, are you good enough? Do you actually know what you're talking about? I go back here and I say, well, she says I am. He says I am. And, and, you know, I just go through this. So I give myself a confidence boost. And then I get into that state of physiological excellence. Use my anchors to get into that state of emotional, psychological and mental excellence. And then I go on. Brilliant. Love that, Vanda. Absolutely love that.